Hey everybody, Bones here, Bones Garage, bringing you an update what's going on at the garage. So, 1966 Corvair. We are doing a disc brake conversion setup, and with the disc brake conversion setup, the hub, that's the hub, is too wide, too far out. So what you have to do to get it to the rotor, the inside of the rotor, has to fit over that. So to get it to fit, I set them up on my brake lathe and I chop them down a little bit with the brake lathe. So this way the rotor will fit and you can kind of see how far out of round they are when they come out of the factory. So right now I'm going to set everything up and get this thing done. We're going to move this another three thousandths. Actually I did four lines and we'll come back in push the go button and then watch it go to town and you'll see it it'll cut it down there it goes cutting it down so we're making this hub fit into that rotor yay i'll bring you up to date as we go all righty guys talk to you in a few okay bye Hey everybody, Bones here, Bones Garage, just bringing you an update what's going on at the garage. So, now that we have the hubs cut, you can see that they are cut. See how nice that edge is? You'll see how nice they fit into, if I can find the hole, right in there. Look at how beautiful that gap is. Look at that, that's nice and tight. No movement in it. Everything is so nice. So, there you go. There's how you make a set of hubs fit a set of rotors that these hubs never were supposed to be on. Alrighty, guys. And this is for the 66 Chevy Corvair. Have fun. Talk to you soon. Okay, bye. <laughs>